Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynet and welcome back to the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt on the Death March difficulty. Last time we finished off our business, well literally and figuratively, with Kira Mats, And that leaves us open to pursue other quest lines. And because we're still at Fike Island, I'm gonna go and head and uh, do the quest of Forefather's Eve with the Pallard. Apparently those ghouls have respawned. Okay, that was the ghoul. So as you might have noticed, there are a lot more boats than there were before. Not just because we lifted the curse, but because uh, people have started arriving for Forefather's Eve. So we've been to this area before. And there's a lot of people already waiting to see what the Pallor will do. So I'm going to first meditate really quickly towards midnight. So our resources are filled up to full. And then we'll go talk to the Pallor. Greetings. Just in time. Of course. Good folk. Behold the one who will protect us. You needn't fear. Hello, everyone. Soon shall we summon the wandering souls. Beyond all help, some will be. From these, you must protect us. Evil creatures keep at bay. Keep at bay till the ritual's done. Okay, let's do this. Begin. Keep us from harm, and let them not disturb the circle. What is this life? Well, you know. So while the ritual goes on, we'll be attacked by wraiths. So I'm gonna equip some spectre oil when we begin. Soon will rise thy dead, thy buried. Will ye grant their souls reprieve? Let's begin for Put Father's Eve. Two urns down. Oh, I can only activate one. Oh, okay. The first ones are drowners, apparently. And when the water hag is down because of the shield, we can stab her in the face. So I apologize for his drowners, apparently. Hark, a sound I hear. Tis right. The spirit breaks the still of night. Burn the incense ever higher. Spirit, join us round the fire. Spirit, speak. This time is yours. Tell us of your ghostly woes. And there appears a fiery figure. And a stroke of recognition in the Peller's eyes. Who are you? He knows. Should I drive him away? No. I've come for you, Patricide. Patricide, indicating that he killed his own father, and now we're being bothered by witch hunters. Abomination! Stop this at once! The errant souls! We must help them! Silence! I'll not tolerate necromancy. Help me! So again, we can choose to uh, ignore that, but of course we'll defend the Peller and the people here. Leave now. You're disrupting the ritual. This is black magic. These folk disturb the dead. We cannot allow it. We will not. You don't know a thing about their customs. Take it and disperse the others. So, since we're dealing with humans here, we're gonna 
Set a few folks on fire. And goodbye. And in half. So that's one of the finishing moves. Yes, indeed. We cannot stop what has begun. So because of the fact that we defiled the ground with blood now, killing those men, the spirits are getting restless. The bloodshed it do any harm. Tainted lies the circle now. They who thirst for the gore of men shall come. God's willing they will be few, and the Pella shall finish the right. So, let's do this. If you want to continue, I'm ready. Good folk, we must the eve complete. Prepare yourselves. And now summon, come the wraith. I hope souls, the wraith. The night is dark and full of terror. Oh. Whispers, something peeps. Someone near our fire creeps. All is Yep. This sacred ground is with blood stained. We cannot the ritual complete. People, save yourselves. If your lives you value, run. And there's three of those green fuckers. So, I'm stuck. And there's a third one. And the people are all gone. Alas, all is lost. Hmm, gotta be a peasant who told the witch hunters about the ritual. That spirit they drove away. Your father's ghost, right? Threatened to come back. Likely to keep his word. Old man Ambros, the Pella fears not. Okay. So you killed him. That wraith called you a patricide. He get it right? Aye. If I'm gonna help you, I gotta know everything. Why'd you kill your father? The Pella does not wish to speak of this. Okay. So we're gonna have to do something about that, though. You can't hope to manage this alone. You're afraid. That's clear. Wraith will hold sway over you. Listen, I'll send him off. I've got to. But I need to know where he's buried. Corpse probably hasn't turned to dust yet. That's his bond to the world of the living. Ambrose lies in the swamp. Fine. I'll find his body, see what I can do. So you dumped your father in the swamp after you murdered the man. So, we got out of that fight pretty well, I think. I'm gonna loot everything really quickly. So be right back. So as you can see on the map, the swamp is a pretty ways off. So I'm gonna try and use a boat to get there since it's by the water. I think that'll be the fastest way, well, fastest way to get there. So, uh, see you in a minute. From here you also have a very nice view of the Elder Tree. On top of the mountain over there. Place we'll be visiting soon. So, after a boat ride of a few minutes, we uh, reach the shores of these uh, swamps where the Peller buried his own father. After he murdered him, so yeah. Good times again, really happy teams. I think I can set the boat down pretty close to where we need to be. There we go. So again, lots of uh, drowners. And so it sounds. Oh, rot fiends. Even better. That was a nice combo. And explode. There we go. Another nice chain reaction. It's 
So well, since the rot fiends were around here, we can only assume the body is close by. The swamps kept Ambrose's body in good shape. Hmm. Even where the Peller smashed his head in, gotta incinerate it. That ought to get the Spectre to leave. Okay. So we'll switch to Igni. Leave the world of the living. Never return again. And that's it. Simple as that. So I'm gonna try and find a fast travel point on this island. Because that will be handy for later on as well. And on the way towards our next objective we come across a not so pleasant view. So no, we'll not be doing that. No, it's... I'm not. I'm really not. Because I'm gonna put you all on fire! And there they go again. And I'm being shot at. So I'm gonna let that guy burn. I'm gonna absorb a few of his shots to get my health back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So doing 10 counter attacks like that, uh, with a nice finisher, gives you the care more and trained trophy. So if you uh, still need that one, it's easy to do if you uh, have one enemy left. I've been trying for that one a while, but hey. So that's a little side quest on the road. So I had to go to the next village, Lindenvale, to get a, a fast travel point. So let's get back to the Pallor. So when I fast traveled to Blackbow, I got to a shopkeeper and apparently he also has one of those uh, Witcher gear maps. I'm gonna buy that immediately and checking that letter out. While conducting studies under the guidance of Professor Slavko Atomstein, I happened across four places where carved engravings portraying the sign of the Cat School of Witchers could be found. All these pictograms are identical to that which we discovered in the caverns beneath the Temple Isle in Novigrad. I have marked them on this map. So again, another few, uh, the first part of the Cat School upgrade quest is available to us now as well. Although the level is too high for us now to attempt it even so, uh, but handy for in the future so I don't have to look those maps up. So the other merchant didn't really have anything interesting. So we'll cut straight to the Peller's house again. And let's hope he can clarify why he killed his father. White wolf. Wise wolf. What is it the wolf needs? Found your father's body. Had to burn it. Good you did. Return for me ye would have. So, why did you kill him? What's your story? You actually kill your father? It was an evil man. The Pella feared him once, but then grew brave. What his father did to his mother, the Pella could not look upon it. So he split the father's head with an axe, left him in the swamp. But folk knew. Okay. Seems like a simple enough explanation. Ghost's not likely to come back. Thank you, Witcher. A reward for your aid. And if herbs or remedies you ever need, for near nothing you will have them from me. Which is actually a really good thing, because I'm going to peruse his uh, available contents, because uh, I might want to upgrade some of my potions. So the interesting thing about the Depeller is that he has a lot of diagrams for runestones, which we'll not be needing for now. But I think he also has few formulas which I'm gonna buy from him and in return return will uh, sell him a few things so with that little exchange we've got a few extra 
things to create. Uh, we're still missing a few ingredients for uh, most important thing is white gull, I think. We're gonna need that later on. And the dimeridium bomb is also something I really want to make. But we're still missing allspice. Anything else we can create already? Can't make the ogroid oil because we need ginatia petals. And for cat we need some water essence. So let's see if we can buy that from him. I will take the petals. I think I needed two. And we can make the ogroid oil. Cat, oh, I'm assuming we're gonna get towards those uh, water essences later on, so don't think I need anything else. So long. So that completes the quest for Father's Eve, and uh, now the parallel has a bit of uh, peace of mind. So, now that we've completed that quest, I'm gonna take a break. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye!